Good morning, Storytime friends, and happy holidays. Today is Thanksgiving. That's one of my favorite holidays in the whole world because I just love the atmosphere of getting together with family and like seeing people that you haven't seen in a long time. Things are a little different this year, aren't they? Maybe your Thanksgiving looks a little different, but there's probably some things that haven't changed, right? It's this big thing behind me on the table. It's called a cornucopia. And that's sort of like one of the symbols of Thanksgiving. But I bet you can think of a more popular symbol of Thanksgiving, right? What's that thing that we always like to eat around Thanksgiving time? That's right, it's a turkey. I love to eat turkey, how about you? Well, I got a friend here, a little pet turkey, but we're not gonna eat him, he's safe. He's gonna teach us a little bit about turkeys. You ever wonder about turkeys? They're kind of weird birds, huh? They have all these weird things going on with them. This thing, what's this little wobbly thing on his head here? Oh, he doesn't like when I touch it. It's called a snood. It's like a long flap of skin, and sometimes it changes color depending on how the turkey's feeling, like a mood ring or something like that. You know, I've also never noticed that turkeys don't have any feathers up here on their head. This part of their head is called the caruncle, and it's like bumpy and kind of weird looking, huh? But what's this other thing, little, little thing on the bottom of his beak? That is called a waddle, which is a funny word. Did you know that turkeys can fly? They can fly really fast, up to 50 miles an hour, but only for a short amount of time. They're also really smart. They have these claws on their feet, and they use those to roost up in trees so they can hide from predators. And they also have excellent hearing and eyesight so they can see and hear those predators coming. So they know just exactly when to hide up in that tree. This thing right here, see how he's got this patch of feathers on his chest? Well, that's actually called a beard. I don't think uh, that's where a beard normally grows on your chest, but that's what we call it for turkeys. Yeah, my beard's on my face up here. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out, turkey. Maybe I'll see you later, huh? Okay, see you then. Well, how about we get into our first book, huh? We're gonna read this book by Dave Pilkey. It's called Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving. was the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins, in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains, while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. Those drumsticks look tasty. O'er rivers through woods, with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road, there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. Oh, where, can you read what that says? It tells us where they're going on their field trip. When what with their wondering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkey and a little old man so lively and rugged they knew in a moment it was Farmer Mac Nugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling, they heard in the straw 
the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. He kind of look a little bit like someone else. Shows up around this time of year. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Mo. On Wally, on Beaver, on Shimp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces, and they greeted the children with downy embraces. Oh, that looks sweet. I want to hug a turkey. So out through the barnyard, they ran and they flew, and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. Then somebody spotted an ax by the door, and she asked Farmer Nugget what it was for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said Mac Nugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feasts. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh, not our turkey friends. Oh dear, cried Mac Nugget. Now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old MacNugget and waddled away. How do you think they got so fat? Hmm. They limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then, as the school bus drove off in the night, Mac Nugget looked round. Not a turkey in sight. Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful. The turkeys were most. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. The end. Remember, Thanksgiving is all about dinner time and turkey, but it's also about giving thanks. Here's a song about Chase's pet turkey. It goes like this. My name is Tom Turkey. I walk sorta of jerky. Around the old farmyard I hobble, hobble. Oh, these are my feathers and this is my head. I shake them and say gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. gobble. You know what? We can do that with our hands. If we just take our fist like this, and put your thumb out, and then you put your other hand out like this. Show all five fingers, and you put it together, and you can make your own little turkey. Let's sing the song together again. My name is Tom Turkey. I walk sort of jerky. Around the old farmyard I hobble, hobble. Oh, these are my feathers. Wiggle your feathers. And this is my head. I shake them and say gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. Can you gobble like a turkey? Gobble, 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 gobble. Okay, let's see. We're going to put our hand back out like this. And can you turn it back and forth for this next song? This way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that 
way all day long. Here comes another one, just like the other one. Here comes another one all day long. Strut Miss Lucy, strut Miss Lucy, strut Miss Lucy all day long. Strut Mr. Leroy, strut Mr. Leroy, strut Mr. Leroy all day long. I don't know about a turkey named Mr. Leroy. I think it's time for a book. I've got a book called Setting the Turkeys Free. It's by Nicola Lisa and Ken Wilson Max drew the picture in this story. Let's see how this one goes. Come see, my dog and I are making a turkey. First, I put my hand in paint. Then I spread my fingers apart and press my hand onto a big piece of paper. When I lift my hand, look, there's a turkey. The thumb is the head, the palm is the body, the fingers are the feathers, they look like a tail. Now all it needs are some legs and feet. I know, I could use toothpicks. See, now my turkey can walk. Hey, not so fast. I still need to decorate you. Here are some fun shiny things. Now my turkey's beautiful, but all alone. So I make another and another and another until I have lots of turkeys. I love my turkeys. To keep my turkeys safe, I make a pen out of popsicle sticks. Now they can run around in their own little yard. Uh-oh, a storm is coming. And what's that I see? Foxy the fox, where'd he come from? Go away, Foxy the fox. You're frightening my turkeys. Gobble, 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 gobble. Go away. Gobble, gobble, shoo. Uh-oh. Can you imagine them running around? Look, Foxy the fox can't believe his eyes. The turkeys are hiding behind each other. To him, they look like one big fat turkey dinner. No, Foxy the fox, you can't have my turkeys. But what do I do? I know, I'll make a fist and I'll smear it in the paint and press it onto the paper right in front of Foxy the Fox. There, try getting over that big bumpy rock. <gasps> Uh-oh, Foxy the Fox is climbing over the rock. I have to save my turkeys. Quickly, I unlock the gate, push it open, setting the turkeys free. Now there's not a turkey in sight. Ha! Take that, you mean old fox. There will be no turkey dinner for you today. But now I miss my turkeys. So I cover the grass, the rock with grass, and I put little pieces of corn on the ground inside the turkey pen and hope that someday my turkeys will come home to me. And they do. I notice on this dog's collar, there's a name and the name of that dog is Foxy. Hmm, he kind of looks like that fox, doesn't he? And that's the end. You know, that might be kind of fun to make a picture and then imagine a story with the picture that you make. It might be a turkey. You might use your hand to smear and to paint and make turkeys and make a story about that picture. Or you might do something different, but that's a fun thing to do is to make art and use your imagination. Turkey in the brown straw, ha, ha, ha. Turkey in the brown straw, ha, ha, ha. Turkey in the brown straw, ha, ha, ha. Turkey in the straw, my darling. Turkey in the white snow, ho, ho, ho. Turkey in the white snow, ho, Turkey in the white snow, ho, ho, ho. Turkey in the snow, my darling. 
Turkey in the green, green tree. tree. He, 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 he. Turkey, Turkey in the green tree. tree. He, 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 he. Turkey in the green tree. He, 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 he. Turkey in the tree, my he, darling. Right. Turkey in the blue sky. Hi, hi, hi. hi. Turkey, Turkey in the blue sky. Hi, hi, hi. Turkey in the blue sky. Hi, hi, hi. Turkey in the sky, my darling. Turkey in the red barn, horn, horn, horn. Turkey in the red barn, horn, horn, horn. Turkey in the red barn, horn, horn, horn. Turkey in the barn, my darling. Gobble, 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 Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. Don't eat me. My pet turkey is so sad. He lost all the feathers that he once had. He's been searching high and low. But we'll find them together, don't you know? Let's look for those feathers, huh, Turkey? I think he's... Oh, I see some over here. He's got some purple feathers. Let's give him back those. Now, let's see. Let's keep looking, huh, Turkey? Oh, I think I see some down here, too. Look, we got some brown feathers. Let's put those brown feathers back. All right. Looking much better already. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, oh, look over there. Look, we got some red feathers. All right. Now he's looking a lot happier, isn't he? But there's still some feathers out there. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, oh, here's some. Here's some yellow feathers. Let's get those yellow feathers on there. Hmm. I think there's still some missing. What? other color oh you know what colors he had he had some blue feathers let's put the blue feathers on there he's looking good as new isn't he but let's make sure we got them all let's double check let's see here hmm. any under here any over here oh, i see some way on the ground Ugh. Got some orange feathers. All right, turkey. Look at him now. He's pleased as punch. Cobble, cobble, cobble. Let's read another book together. This one is called Thanks for Thanksgiving, and it's written by Julie Marks and illustrated by Doris Barrett. Got some really nice pictures by Miss Doris in this book. Thanks for Thanksgiving for turkey and pie. Thank you for fall and gold leaves floating by. Thank you for school. I love to feel smart. Thank you for music and dancing and art. Thank you for play dates, for swings, and for slides. Thank you for hopscotch and piggyback rides. And apples too, huh? Thanks for sweet puppies and soft furry cats. Thank you for dress up, red shoes, and big hats. Can you see who's wearing the red shoes? Can you spot them somewhere?
Thanks for umbrellas, for rain boots and puddles. Thank you for mommy and warm, cozy cuddles. Thank you for daddy and rides on a sled. Thank you for kisses and tucks into bed. Thanks for the moon and the stars up above. But most of all, thanks for the family I love. The end. And thanks to you, Storytime friends, for hanging out with us on this awesome Thanksgiving. For this next song, you're going to need a feather. So you can pause this as you find your feather. If you don't have a feather at home, you can just use a piece of paper. It works. So let's sing. Wear a feather, anywhere a feather, wear a feather, anywhere at all. Can you wear it on your head? Show me the top of your head. We can wear it on our head, on our head, on our head. Oh, wear a feather, anywhere a feather, wear a feather, anywhere at all. Can you wear it on your neck? We can wear it on our neck, on our neck, on our head. Oh, wear a feather, Renny, wear a feather, wear a feather, Renny, wear it all. Can you wear it on your tummy? Show me your tummy. We can wear it on our tummy, on our tummy, on our neck, kind of tickle, on our head. Oh, wear a feather, Renny, wear a feather, wear a feather, Renny, wear it all. Can you wear it on your knee? Show me your knee. We can wear it on our knee, on our knee, on our tummy on our neck cut it tickles on our head oh wear a feather anywhere a feather wear a feather anywhere at all can you wear it on your foot we can wear it on our foot on our foot on our knee on our tummy on our neck cut it tickles on our head on your elbow on your back on your pinky finger, on your ear, up your nose. Oh no, on your nose. There's a big difference between on and up. On your nose, wear a feather, anywhere a feather, wear a feather, anywhere at all. <laughs> on Thanksgiving, we have a big plate of food and on our plate often we have turkey can you clap this rhythm with me turkey in the pan turkey in the pan turkey with hmm, i'm going to turn my drum over and we'll imagine that this is my plate with some turkey right here can't just have turkey we need to have something with our turkey what's something that you like to eat with turkey on thanksgiving hmm what about stuffing? That's one of my favorites. Can you clap stuffing with me? Stuffing. Let's try it together. Turkey in the pan, turkey in the pan, turkey with stuffing. Eat it if you can. Gonna turn my drum over. There's my plate with turkey. There's my stuffing next to it. Hmm. What else should we have on our plate with our turkey and stuffing? What about green bean casserole? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of claps. Try to clap that. Green bean casserole. Wow. Turkey in the pan, turkey in the pan, turkey with green bean casserole. Eat it if you can. There's my plate with the turkey. There's my stuffing. There's my green bean casserole. Oh, I've got a little bit of room right over there for something else. What else should we have? 
I know what I like. Pumpkin pie. Can we clap it together? Pumpkin pie. Turkey in the pan. Turkey in the pan. Turkey with pumpkin pie. Eat it if you can. Oh, it all sounds so delicious. I hope whatever you have for your Thanksgiving dinner um, is very, very tasty and something that you're very thankful for. It's always good to have food. You know, that reminds me of a book about bear. Bear says thanks. And let's see what this bear is thankful for. This is by Carmen Wilson. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. He's bored, 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 and misses his friends. I could make a big dinner, a feast I could share. But he looked through his cupboard, and the cupboard was Bear. Then Mouse stopped by with a huckleberry pie, and Bear says, thanks. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie. But I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. Then they hear hi-ho, and they both see hair with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. Hair hurries in from the cold rushing wind, and Bear says, thanks. Of course, says hair, then he points to the door. Here comes Badger. He's got even more. Burr, says Badger, as he trumps inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles, smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. And Bear says, thanks. Look at all those fish he caught. Then Gopher and Mole tunnel up from the ground. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. There's a flap and a flutter and a flurry in the den. When in flutters Owl with Raven and Wren, we have pears from a tree and herbs to brew tea. And Bear says, wait! Bear mutters and stutters. He wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans and he plops himself down. Huh, what do you think is wrong? You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share, but me, I have nothing. My cupboard is bare. Mouse squeaks, don't fret. There's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food. You have stories to share. His friends hug him tight. It'll be all right. And bear says, thanks. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground and bear takes a seat while his friends gather round. In the cave in the woods, in the warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend Bear. They pass around platters. They tweet and they chatter. And they all say thanks. The end. You know, sign language for thanks looks like this. Maybe you can think of the different things that you're thankful for. And when your family gathers around the table, you can tell them what you are thankful for. Albuquerque is a turkey. He is feathered and he's fine. And he wobbles and he gobbles and he's absolutely mine. He's the best pet you can get yet. Better than a dog or cat. He's my Albuquerque turkey and I'm very glad of that. And my Albuquerque turkey is so happy in his bed. Cause for our Thanksgiving dinner we had hamburgers instead. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you and your families. We are so thankful for you and love it when we see you come into the library. Hope to see you soon.